What is the crack, lads? Welcome back. We are doing the player review for the last World Cup player of the week, International Cup, December 22-22. Oh, man. It's... Uh, it's winding down, it's winding down, right? Obviously, I have videos up on V2.3. We are going to be doing a live stream later, depending on when I upload this. But yeah, there are some good players in this if you want to kind of see out the year with a bang, right? But a lot of these players in this, I, to be honest with you, you probably have Mbappe, you probably have De Maria. There's been a lot of chances to get them. We are going to go through them quite quickly um, because there is 11 players here, but all of these have kind of featured already either through a player of the week uh, since 2023's like launch, since the start of that season, uh, or season one of 2023, or else with one of the packs, whether it's uh, the Croatia pack, whether it was the Argentina pack, the France pack, the free Mbappe, whatever, right? So we are going to focus on maybe three or four of the players, but we are going to go through them all. McAllister, I've been impressed with McAllister from playing with him, but his card isn't, in my opinion, good enough to be kind of like, you know, you're not obviously going to be keeping him in your squad ahead of somebody like Goretzka. If you are looking for a class box to box, Goretzka is the only guy that you need. If you are able to kind of like, I think if you're more defensive minded, I think Goretzka is an extremely good player to have because you can manually, you know, bomb forward with him and his AI just move up his offensive awareness a little bit higher than standard um, and he'll be an absolute beast for you. But McAllister's got a nice uh, range of skills. You can see there that his standard form is a bit of an issue, but he's got one touch pass and true passing and he's also got a bit of an engine on him. Now at 90 overall, it puts him in line with that other player of the week that he had as well. So it is kind of rinse and repeat. So it's not worth um, spending too much time on him. We've also got Zayek here uh again a very good passer kind of a, a kind of a different a uh, right winger like he's not a blister and pace kind of guy now he does have standard form he does have a load of player skills the dribbling is back from what i've heard from talking to a few people the dribbling seems to be way more improved in this v point v2.3 compared to what it was which is music to my ears um and this guy has got unbelievable passing skills if you are looking for a different type of winger to get the ball in I would reckon, lads, with V2.3, even though I haven't really played enough of it at the moment, I would say that the wing play is going to be very strong again in this for the next couple of weeks over Christmas. Yeah, you'll always have the meta three up top, three center backs with one left or right back um, and get the ball up as quickly as possible. And the one touch passing, you know, spam fest is going to always be super, super powerful unless they make the AI super responsive to it, uh, which is hard to do without turning the game into a skating rink. Um, but I do think that like out wide is going to be very viable again, especially crossing into somebody like Collar or Morientes or Lewandowski or Benzema or whoever. So yeah, I would be very impressed with Zayek if I did get him because he's got really nice pace, but excellent passing. And he has also got long ranger, true passing, pinpoint crossing, pity about his standard form. So yeah, for me, he's probably, you know, one of the picks of him, depending on how your play style is. Now we've got the crazy man, Martinez, absolutely crazy, this guy. His, his goalkeeper reflexes let him down. I probably think they should have went all out with this man and just made him like a 95 goalkeeper reflex or something just for the banter, just to make him top tier um, and maybe give him unwavering form as well. But yeah, at the moment, anything under 87, 88 goalkeeper reflex, anything under 90 really, lads, and you will notice um, the difference. Like I have Donnarumma and he just saves shots that you're like already, you, you've already, you know, conceded like in your head. And he just saves him. So for me, even though he's a nice height, he's a nice everything else, jump, kick and power, everything. He's got no AI playing styles, but he has low punt and penalty saver. I would have liked to have seen reflexes a bit higher there to make him a little upper tier. Now we've got Madric. So all these players obviously are level one. They don't have any leveling to go in case you're new to the game. So what you see is what you get here. You don't need to train them up or anything. Modric is probably my favorite pick of this week's pack, apart from Mbappe, obviously, but everyone has Mbappe. Unwavering form which is going to be you know, changing soon once the live update comes back in the new year. And he's got every player skill that you could possibly want, as well as interception. Like this interception player skill is huge for a center midfielder, especially if it's not a box-to-box -box or an anchorman, because you've got the dribbling and the passing, which are all in the 90s. You've got balance in the 90s. His offensive awareness and his defensive awareness are absolutely insane. Like look at those stats, man. That is an unbelievable card. Like if you look at those stats individually. His speed and acceleration are excellent. His offensive awareness and defensive awareness are excellent. His aggression, his tackling, his defensive engagement, his balance, his stamina. And then you've got all the passing. As well as all of that, you've got unwavering form 
and you've got one touch pass true pass interception weighted pass double touch and long range shooting this is probably one of the best cards out at the moment definitely so if you do get him definitely play Modric and also De Maria the World Cup final hero for Argentina and uh, again another really good player unwavering form similar to Modric you can play him all over the pitch I would actually play De Maria AMF um, and if I do get this card, if I spin from, I do have Demaria in my, in my um, I will be training him up because a lot of people are asking me to do a review on Demaria. So I might slot him into the squad today. Excellent stats again, very similar in nature to Modric, just a little bit obviously faster and a different type of player with the dribbling, but an excellent player. He's got early crosser as well as pinpoint crossing. So if you are looking for somebody on the wing that's not Neymar and that's not absolute blister and pace, Demaria on in the 78th minute with collar start booting balls into him if you are struggling to get a goal um that is what i usually do except i don't use uh De Maria, but i might we've also got orsic who had a, a fairly okay world cup as well a creative playmaker left midfield blister and pace really good dribbling excellent uh excellent player all round if you want to play him as a utility man he's got some lovely stats there and lovely player skills dip and shot first time shot knuckle shot look any player can be good for you lads if he's got fairly decent stats but the thing is you have to be able to play him the way that they're meant to be played like Arsic you need to be taking long range shots shots with him you're not going to be double touching even though he has double touch you're not going to be double touching into like curl shots or finesse shots like Neymar does even though he does have long range curler it's a different type of player. Like he's a different type of player. I don't think he's as good dribble wise as the top upper tier guys like Dembele or Anthony or Diaz or somebody like that, Neymar. But he could surprise you because he's got blistering pace and he's got excellent ability on the ball. His passing does let him down though. That's the only thing. If you are going to be crossing in with him, I think you're better off having more defensively kind of tracking back and starting with breaks and stuff like that. We've also got Daddy, the center back, aggression 93. He is a big unit as well. Um, I would have liked to have seen him with unwavering form. I had he, I thought he had a really good World Cup. Uh, sliding tackle, heading, man marking, excellent. Uh, but again, he does not have interception or blocker, which is a huge pity for this card. I mean, they should have just went all out, man, and had like World Cup heroes or something, and had like ninety five rated versions of the best, you know, the team of the tournament or something. Um, because these cards are not really going to make a difference to your end game squad if you pack them. Genuinely, they're not. Apart from the top few guys, if you don't already have them. So we've got Alvarez here as well. Um, he had a good World Cup and uh, he'll be looking to kick on. He's got unwavering form. Alvarez is one of the most slept on players, I would say, lads. He's super, super stats. He just scores from everywhere. He doesn't have any stats that scream at you like, oh my God, he's got 90 pace or he's got 90 finishing, but he's got everything kind of in the mid 80s. Now you can train him up, which we'll show you in a second. I'll train you up a different and a better version of Alvarez in a second. And it's just his standard card. But yeah, one touch pass for a striker is very, very interesting because it keeps the opposition on their toes. Kanate, all you're looking for here is pure strength and power. Absolute unit. He's got unwavering form. He's got excellent uh, player skills, blocker and interception. This could change up the center back partnership, you know, that you have if you do get him because he's got every player skill you could possibly want. He's got the destroyer as his player card. He's got physical contact 90 speed 76 tackling 89 everything you could possibly need in the air and he looks like an absolute monster so i definitely think he's worth getting into your squad if you get him we've also got tia hernandez blister and pace standard form which yeah i would say after watching him in the world cup he is kind of inconsistent enough pinpoint crossing he doesn't have early cross so you're gonna have to be a little bit more defensive with this guy and just ping balls across the pitch to spread it out Really good pace, really good dribbling, really good passing. Everything is solid across the board. Not the best version of the card that we've ever seen, though. And then last but not least, Mbappe. I mean, you know what you're getting with Mbappe, right? This version of him isn't that great, in my opinion. Um, he has got some nice player skills there. And as you see there, when you come out here, it says that he has got the one-touch pass uh, player skill, which is huge, obviously, um, as Mbappe is, you know, one of the best players in the game. But we're going to go over to eFootball to be and show you better versions of him before we just, uh, before we leave you guys alone. Um, we're just going to show you Alvarez and Mbappe, I think it is, that we wanted to have a look at here. Right, so this is Mbappe. He's obviously about a milli, he's over a milli. But if I was training up Mbappe, this is just his basic card, right? You're going to get his finishing up to 88. 
you're going to get his pace up to 90, you're going to get his speed up to 90, and then you've got a couple of things that you can do here, right? He does not have one-touch pass with his normal uh, his normal card, so you can boost up his passing to nearly 80 if you want to bring that in and make it like you know more in line with the card that he has here. But for me, I would probably just boost up his dribbling to 90 here. So you've got 90 speed, 90 acceleration, you've got 90 uh, dribbling, and then you're going to just pump in the rest into there. We're going to take one off this, and then we're going to put one more into that. So you're going to have a 96 rated striker, 90 dribbling, 90 speed, 93 acceleration, 87 balance, 87 finishing, and 88 of offensive awareness. Absolute beast of a player. And Alvarez is a similar player, right? We've got a load of levels to go with him. He's actually not that expensive. We're going to boost this up to 85. He's got a couple of more to go. We're going to boost that up to 82. And then we're going to boost the rest here. Now his pace is the big issue here. But we're not going to worry too much about his pace. It's more about his finishing and his offensive awareness for a player that's quite cheap. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon with another player review. That is it for the player of the week. If I had to kind of predict who you'd be lucky enough to get, um, I would say that, yeah, I mean, obviously Mbappe, Konate, Alvarez and Modric are probably my picks. And De Maria is probably a hidden one as well, uh, even though De Maria, a lot of people are using him now. So that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. Zia, they're all, I mean, they're all fairly decent players. It depends on how strong your team is. But that is it for me. I'll be back quite soon. Peace.